Well, once again, we're out here at the 4A Ranch with David Anderson and his son-in-law, Wade. We're off today to hunt down the elusive Scimitar Oryx, which, thanks to uh, people like David, ranchers who have brought them over from Africa, they're now actually not extinct. There's no Scimitar Oryx in the wild right now. And once again, thanks to people like David who brought them over and raised them on their ranches. They now have a viable population and uh, future generations, you know, hunters, people who just want to go out and see a very beautiful animal will now have the chance to do it because people like David who have brought them over and really made it happen. They're no longer available to see over in Africa and it's a real shame. But uh, we're taking off right now. We'll see if we can scare one up and uh, see how the hunt goes. Turns around. I get my gun up. And get me to move up some more. That's about a hundred yards. That's up to you. She'll turn sideways in that little. I'd like for her to come out that. You call it. You're the one who's got to haul it. That kind of rhymes, don't it? Yeah, you're pretty good at that. You stay there. I think she'll run into that damn fence. Yeah. I'm good to go. Good with her. Yeah, she's covered up, isn't she? Mm -hmm. She's the one on the far left with her butt to the left. Mm -hmm. You see her? I'm good. Okay. position right now if it is if you just uh I wanna move. Like that? Like that. Just are you taping Wade? Yes. Tell me when. Uh ready. Hold on the other oh. one's walking by. That's okay. Tell me when. Okay shoot. Ain't that the way it works? Uh I'd say you got her. Stay there. Well, I can't think of a better shot on that. I'm really glad that she went down straight. Hell yeah. No, no suffering or anything. That's just a beautiful animal. Probably one of, probably the most beautiful I've, I've ever taken. And she is just gorgeous. I mean, one shot, one kill, straight down. And that's what I was very happy about it. I didn't want her to run off and have to suffer or anything like that. Is that a rifle? What's your shell you put in it? Oh, that? yeah. This is a 338 Win Mag. It's a Model 70 Winchester Alaskan. 338 Win Mag, 210 grain tip triple shock Barnes bullet. Let's see if they're right there. And I do believe they work. What do you think, David? Uh, yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they work. These are made by Buffalo Boar, so they have a lot more juice behind them than the regular barns. And uh, I'm sold on them. How about you? Well, they're, they're they're a little bit larger than the ones that I use. <laughs> what's, just... what the, what's the deal? <laughs> well, what's they say? Size matters. <laughs> <laughs> that proved positive. <laughs> but as I told David earlier, I have to blame this whole hunting trip, this whole quest for such beautiful animals that scimitar works, I have to blame it on your wife. Because three years ago when we first came here and she made uh, 
Oryx Chili. That kind of hooked me on Scimitar Oryx. So, like I said, I blame Samantha for the quest. And how many hours have we been riding around looking for? <laughs> A while. A while. And many drinks. Yeah. But it's been fun because if you come out here to the foray, it's not about the hunting. The hunting's secondary. It's hanging out with David and Wade, the cameraman you can't see, and just enjoying the good times that you have out here and you really can't find anywhere else. This is great. Let's this go is get great. it. Let's go get it. All right. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm glad I could do it out here with my good buddy David Anderson and his son-in-law Wade. Out here at the 4A. These horns, like you said, David, they're they're massive. This is just a, a huge, huge animal, even by you know scimitar oryx standards.